What's going on everybody, welcome back. And we're gonna talk about a sling bag today in the way of this DDT Urban Discreet sling bag right here. Uh, or man purse, or EDC bag, or whatever that you wanna call it, cause that's what my wife calls it, a man purse for some reason. So I've been carrying a DDT Assassin sling bag, which is this one right here, for about the past year, maybe a little bit more now. And as you can tell, it's obviously quite a bit different. It's got molly everywhere and all kinds of stuff going on with it. And I just kind of wanted something a little bit different. And I had a couple of things I was really looking for. I wanted the same kind of pockets and dividers that the DDT Assassin had, or something very similar. And I just wanted a much more clean and discreet look. Now, obviously this one kind of falls in suit with that externally, and it has that sexy asphalt gray that you guys know I'm a huge fan of, but it still gave me a good amount of options inside as far as dividers, pockets and all of that stuff to keep everything that I carry with me on a daily basis nice and separated so I know where it is. Now, as far as the DDT Assassin goes, that thing has been an absolutely awesome bag and I will leave that link to that video in the description down below for you. In the past year, I've used that every single day, whether it's to the gym, driving around in my car, it goes to the range with me, it goes to the grocery store with me, it goes on vacation with me. I've literally carried that bag with me every single day, everywhere I go, even to the dog park when I'm going out there. And it's been great. The zippers have held up, the stitching's held up, and the material has done very well. I would expect the same out of this one, and this one I have been carrying for about a month now. So they did send this out to me to test out because I was interested in it based on the purchase of that Assassin. So this one I got for free, the Assassin I did pay for. Now when it comes to this discreet one, obviously externally you can tell there is quite a bit of difference. There is also a lot of difference on the inside, which we will get into when we get into this thing and look at everything that I have in here. And there may be some parts of this that you might like the Assassin a little bit better, or you may like this Urban Discreet bag a little bit better. For me, I was just really looking for something that was super slick and clean, that I could pretty much carry anywhere and nobody was really gonna pay two cents of attention to it. We're gonna go ahead and get into this thing and check out the differences in this bag, and I will describe them to you between the Assassin and this more Urban Discreet bag here. If you guys are interested in anything, I will leave links down in the description below for you so you can check these things out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and turn those bell notification icons on so you get the notifications when these videos come out right away. We're gonna go ahead and get into this Urban Discreet bag right now. All right, let's go ahead and go over the DDT Urban Discreet bag here. Let's talk about what this thing is made out of. So it's a 900 denier poly nylon. It is 17 by 12 by nine inches deep, which is a pretty good size, not too big, not too small. It's in that nice ash kind of gray or asphalt, I think is what they call it. Honestly, one of my favorite colors. So the zippers on here, I believe they're size number 10. They function flawlessly. The other bag that I had for a year gave me no issues with stitching zippers or material or anything else. They are lockable style zippers everywhere. There are two of them. So you can see right there if you wanna lock your bag up. So that's a nice little option there. Don't have any of that Molly gear on the front. We do have some of that Molly gear here on the side which I'm a fan of because a lot of times I'll have my phone right here on the side and then I like to leave my big light right here. Easy access. Um, most time my phone's in my pocket, but I like this clip out here in case I'm wearing like gym shorts or something because this thing is my gym bag too. So let's go ahead and talk about these pockets here. We're gonna have the top pocket up here. We're gonna have a sleeve pocket here. That first, uh, there was a second outer pocket here, main pocket, and then back here for hydration bladder, second amendment stuff, all those good things. We're gonna kind of show you what's in here. I'm not gonna go over each and every item because this is just more about the bag. So you can get an idea of what is in here. So kind of a little sleeve right here. You can jam things in here, through here, whatever you wanna do. I like to keep a knife right there for quick, easy access. Go ahead and go over this top pocket. Now in the old version, inside here, there was like a, like a stretch panel in here. You could stick stuff in here as divided. This doesn't have that. I wish it did because that was really a nice option. But what we do have is a separated pocket in here, nice red high-vis stuff, and I've got everything from alcohol pads to Band-Aids to a lighter, some lip, uh, some, uh, lip balm stuff in there, and uh, just everything that I think I would need, you know, glasses cleaner and everything. I've got a rat's tourniquet in there. Some people love them, some people hate them. Got some nitro gloves staged with them because they go hand in hand. Got some additional napkins, got some extra gloves, got some Narcan in there in case something should happen while I'm out walking around. That's generally about what I carry in that top pocket right there. So let's go ahead and go to this sleeve down here. This is a nice sleeve, kind of three quarter pocket, I guess, three quarter width right here. And in here, I've got a bunch of stuff. I'm generally carrying my earbuds in here for when I'm at the gym. 
I've got a notebook in here, right here. It's got a little kindling card in it. It's kind of waterproofed. Got some allergy medicine in there. I've got a CRKT eating tool because I stay forgetting my silver wherever I go. Then I've got just a keychain on here with items like a little knife, a Glock tool, a handcuff key, a thumb drive because I always need one. And a nice little keychain from my buddy over at Shall Not Comply, Johnny B. I'm going to jam this stuff back in here. And we will move on. All right. So this pocket right here, you can see, again, got that nice red high vis stuff. Got a car key hanger in there. Got another uh, streamlight small flashlight in there. Love that little guy. Use it all the time. Markers, pens. You can fit a bunch of stuff back in here. I got a nice little neck knife tucked back in here if I'm not allowed to carry my 2A stuff around with me. And you can fit all kinds of other stuff in here. I generally, generally put my wallet up in that pocket right there. That's that pop off leather stuff. I love it. I actually got to send that out. That's somebody's giveaway wallet. So it's a good size pocket. There's plenty of more room in there, but like I said, you do not want to jam this bag so full of stuff that it gets overly heavy. So in the main pocket right here, which is where the bigger items would go, we'll take this one side at a time. So you can see this side right here, you've got two divided pockets. One is about three quarters of it. And then one is about a quarter in there. I've got a pretty big case for some sunglasses. Got a Gerber tool and there's plenty of room left. Good amount of uh, space in there. And that nice red high vis stuff is good. In here, I've got a jump rope because this is my gym bag. Got some straps in there. I've got uh, some ax so I don't smell funky when I'm leaving the gym. And then there's plenty of room down in here. I've got some more weightlifting straps down in there just hanging out at the bottom. We'll go ahead and talk about the net pocketing over here. You can see it's one single zipper here for these two portions, but it's split right down the middle, the same size these pockets on here in the side were. So I've got a lacrosse ball for stretching. I've got some 550 cord handcuffs some fire starting stuff. Of course, for the wife or your girlfriend, you got to keep one of those things around some charging cables. And then right here you have this buckled strap so you can put larger items in the back. I just have my pop off leather uh, notebook in there. Love that thing. Take it with me everywhere I go so I can write things down. Let's go ahead and talk about that back panel now, which is a little bit different than some of the other DDT bags. So this, you can fit your hydration bladder in here. You can see I've got an appendix rig set up in there. It's hot, so we're not going to take that out. But uh, in here, that's the strap that uh, if you're carrying it for a long time, that's that additional kind of waist strap. You can fit a two liter hydration bladder in here. The hole is up top right here, right by your carry handle. And then you've got a little loop right there. And that is really it for this bag. So as far as everything else on here, you've got that nice met kind of breathable material and padded material here on the back and on this strap as well. You've got that nice large buckle right here, depending on if you want to just slip this thing over your shoulder or if you want to use the buckle each time. I've used it both ways quite a few times and everything seems to be solid. A couple of straps here you can hang things on. You do have a clip if you want to hang keys or anything right there on that. That's the buckle for your waist strap. And then obviously you've got some more webbing you can use right around there. So in all, this is a pretty solid bag. Let's go ahead and talk about price point, some other colors and options that are going to be available. Now my old bag is held together for like a year now, like I said, and this DDT Assassin, the zippers, the stitching, everything in here has just done great. Now when it comes to that new bag, I expect everything to be the same. It appears that they're using the same material, the same stitching, the same zip zippers, and everything else in there seems to be that same quality level of that. Now let's talk about price really quick. 59 bucks is what these are listed for in a couple different places right now, and right around that price point, depending on fluctuations here and there. Now that is a extremely solid price point, being that a lot of bags out there like this from some bigger known brands can range in that 120 to actually $150 mark. But you did see some of those differences in there uh, that I described between this discrete bag and that DDT Assassin bag. You're not gonna have that uh, Molly gear on there. You're not gonna have that Velcro everywhere, inside, outside. Doesn't have that built-in holster. So you can put your you know, Kydex holster in there like I do. And that's generally how I've been walking around. I would have loved to have seen that inside this one, still in that back pocket, so you could run a Velcro holster or something under to make it a little bit more stable. 
but just running my appendix rig in there has been fine as well. The one thing that I really would have liked to have seen too is on the inside of that top pocket right there, those dividers. There's kind of like bungee dividers in the DDT Assassin bag. And those were really good for kind of dividing up all the stuff that I had in there. It's not a big, huge deal, but it's very nice, especially since that's where I keep a lot of my hasty medical stuff, to have dividers in there that can separate everything so you know exactly where things are to grab them right away. But when it comes down to some of the other options on the DDT Assassin, and all the Molly gear and the adjustable straps and all that stuff and the additional straps that you could put all over the bag, I just honestly never used it. It was just stuff that ended up taking up place in my closet or I would stuff in the other pouch in there because I wasn't using that extra strapping or webbing or anything like that. So I was happy to see that they did leave some of the webbing on this bag outside because I like to carry my larger light here and then a lot of times I'll just clip my cell phone on the outside of the bag like that. Um, I'll leave the clip there and mostly I'll just have the phone in my pocket. So that was definitely nice that they left that portion. Internally, everything else is really, really close to the original Assassin. So if you're looking for something more discreet, this may be an option for you. At that $59 price point, that's pretty aggressive and I will leave links for that down below for you to check out. So talking about some other colors, I know this asphalt one here, which you know is my favorite, I love that gray. They're also coming out with like a heather blue in that same pattern and I think they were coming out with some more female oriented colors as well. I don't know uh, if that's still happening or when those will be released if it does, but that's what I was advised of at SHOT Show. So between the two being that I never really used a lot of the external molly and some of the things on the DDT Assassin, however, I did like some of the internal dividers in that smaller pocket where I keep my medical gear. Which one would I choose? You know, and I have to say, I like the Urban Discreet bag quite a bit more because a little cleaner, a little more kind of you know, gray man-ish, I guess you could say. Doesn't really draw attention. Still holds everything I need. Does give me the dividers I want for all that stuff I had inside because I use this for a gym bag, an ADC bag. It's got some medical gear in there. And it just goes with me everywhere and I still have a little bit of room in there. Now, talking about room and size, this is a sling bag. You do not want to put 30 pounds of gear in here and go hiking for the day, that is going to get extremely uncomfortable because it's only riding across one side of your body. But as it goes for everything else, the Urban Discreet just kind of fits my needs, gives me the best of both worlds between a good amount of dividers, pockets, and storage, with looking very discreet and being a very nice looking and quality bag, especially at 59 bucks. So if you guys think I've earned it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Turn those bell notification icons on. I will leave these links for all this stuff down below for you to check out. If you're interested in supporting the channel at all, check the subscribe star out. That link is down below. You guys get out there, have some fun. Check out a new tactical man purse if you are needing one, and I will see you guys on the next one.